Right, well, as you can see, that whip isn't a huge amount better than the previous one, really. Um, too high, it needs to be more of a horizontal thing, perhaps it should be whipping from the waist. So we have another go at that, and he'll need a different walk to Drunk Man's Walk as he paces up and down between these rows of cubicles, more confident, more strident, more evil. So we'll try and give him a walk as well. I guess that's basically the plan. And so we start with that walk. One leg in front of the other. Just four quick frames, and it will of course interpolate between them. Then we move on to trying a new whip. Um, I practice up, stand up, making some actual whip motions with an actual belt, and see if I can copy that into the character's movement. Running the actual whip each time we move the arm to see how the physics end up getting calculated, trying to learn how the physics work. And mostly getting it wrong, but you know, persistence is the key. Persistence is an animator's fuel. So we keep trying, make the whip a bit longer too. Eventually we've got something that looks half right. There it goes. So there we have a new whip. That one's the best of them at least, I think. Probably that will do. So it turns out going to extremes in weight either way, or in mass either way isn't good. Perhaps it's a bit expected, two kilograms per whatever it is. This is what I've gone with. Um don't know how his walk's looking yet, I'm gonna import these things into the cubicle farm and then do a test in that, I reckon. Oh, test it. So, we open up the cubicle farm, make sure that those actions are imported, get the walks to be repeated in the non-linear action editor, add the whip in, we'll try both of the whips, the low whip and the high whip that we had from before. Try and move the object of the person himself along to match the rate at which the, the walk is happening. Until that looks about right. And there we have it. A, uh, a walk and a new whip. And some physics calculated for how they work together. I suspect the answer is still going to be not great, but uh, that's all for today. And I shall do a test render here now. See you later. And here's the test render. That low underhand whip doesn't work well as he walks. That one goes very weirdly broken. This one looks more or less all right. But I think the key is we're going to need to be somewhere between the low whip and the high whip, which means we still have more work to do. So uh, join me next time for that.